Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Season 2 of Stranger Things, or Stranger Things 2. So obviously, Stranger Things 2 dropped today, October 27th, or depending on when I upload this, because I just got finished, and it's like late 11 o'clock, so obviously if I upload this past 12, it'll be the next day. So either I upload this on October 27th or the 28th. 28th is probably the more likely uh, um, time that I'm going to upload it. But uh, just jumping right into this, I noticed it's kind of a different video. I haven't did, this is like my first like TV related video. I haven't even did anything like TV related on this channel yet. And I watched, it, I've watched a few other shows. I watched like three other shows, but I haven't did anything TV related yet on this channel. So I did, I'm basically going to have the same format as my movie review. So I'm going to have like the same thumbnail and I'm going to have it like, you know, basically what you're looking at right now versus season two, you know, review. But I'm going to add clips and stuff in you guys. So you're not going to see the same screen. Don't worry. And I usually do that in my other videos, but specifically my movie reviews, I have like the same screen and I add little clips and stuff. If you watch my movie reviews, you know that by now. But yeah, just jumping into this, I guess I'm going to have like, you know, a format. I'm going to talk about the cast, the story you know just get my thoughts on it and did I like it and then I think it was better than season one so just jumping into the cast I mean you got you know why on the writer is Joyce David Harbour is Jim Hooper Jim Hopper uh, Finn Wolfhard is Mike uh, Millie Bobby Brown obviously is 11 Gaten Matarazzo is Dustin and I have to give a shout out to Noah Schnapp as Will man he has a, some great acting moments I mean and then you know he, he was kind of like I want to say like a McGuffin, kind of like a plot device in the first season. And, you know, he didn't have much to do. He wasn't in it that much. But this time, you know, he gets his spotlight to shine. And, you know, he takes it. I mean, he uses, he has a lot of scenes in this in this um season where he's crying and screaming. He's just like such good acting. And not to say that the other actors aren't good, but, I mean, he's up there. He, he definitely acted his butt off in this one. So, I mean, he's great. And you have some of the new characters um, oh, first I want to say Charlie Heaton. Obviously, he has his brother, Jonathan Byers. He's great, too. But uh, the new characters, you have Daiquiri Montgomery, the Red Power Ranger, if you guys remember from that movie. Uh, I thought that movie was okay. But, uh, I mean, he plays, like, the bully role in this character. He plays Billy. Uh, he's the brother of another new character, Mad Max or Max or Maxine. She likes to be called Max, though. You'll see that when you watch the show. But, uh, yeah, I think they're both great characters. Uh, I love how he's, like, the new, like, bully jock character, kind of like a opposite to Steve's character, uh, which is great. And then you have Sean Austin as Bob, and I, I love him, man. He's just, just such a likable guy. You could tell he's such a kind-hearted guy, and he plays um, basically the love interest. Uh, he's in a relationship with Joyce Byers, so that's pretty cool. I like the relationships there. And, yeah, just getting into the story, you guys saw in the trailers, you know, Will, man, I feel so bad for Will. So, basically, you know, he's having these dreams of these monsters and, you know, just stuff we already know with the upside down, you know, the same stuff. But they take a different spin on it because it's not like he's trapped in the upside down this time. This time he's having visions about it and, you know, Demogorgons, you know, just stuff like that, you know. They do take a different approach, and obviously, like I said, he has more spotlight in the season, so you get to see his acting skills more, and you obviously get to see him more. So, yeah, you get more of him, basically, and I, I like that. I like that story, you know, telling point. And the other story thing I love they do is they do they did this in the first season. They'll have characters have their own little separate storylines, and they all come together at the end. So in the first season, I want to say... Uh, you know, Eleven and the kids, they were all together, and then Joyce was with Hooper, or with Hopper, and they had their own little story, and at the end of season one, they all came together with Steve and with, you know, just all the other characters, the same thing happens in this season, I feel like I gotta watch that over and over again, like, even if the formula gets old, have their own little storyline, and have all the characters, all the kids, all the teenagers, all the adults come together at the end, and you see that badass shot at the end of the um trailer i want to say it was the second trailer for stranger things season two where you see them all lined up with like guns you got steve with his bat so you know i just love those type of uh you know just character moments i just love that um and i guess just uh jumping into like the, i think it was better than season one you know i just watched this so the hype is you know it's up there but 
it, you know, if it's not better, it's just as good. And, you know, the Duffer brothers, they're, they're knocking this out the park. They have their formula. They know what they're doing. And I think they're doing a great job. I think it's great what they're doing. They're such good, you know, storytellers and writers. And obviously they wrote and directed most of these episodes. So this is, this is their, this is their baby. They know what they're doing. So, yeah, I do think it's, you know, if not better than season one, it's just as good. Like, guys, they they really did a great job, like, just continuing the story and just with these characters. I just really enjoyed it. And also, I wanted to say, at the end, you get a little behind the Stranger Things, I want to say. Like, feature red, and I like that because I always love watching behind-the-scenes type of stuff with TV shows or with movies. So, that's pretty cool. I think they did that with 13 Reasons Why. After you watch the full season, you get like a 13 Reasons Why type of thing. So they kind of did the same thing here. So it was pretty cool. You get to, to see the Duffer Brothers with Millie Bobby Brown and um, Finn Wolfhard just talk at a table. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, overall, enjoyed this season so much. Uh, like I said, this video may be going up on the 28th of October. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, just giving my last thoughts. Great season, you know, great cast. Story is great. Uh you know, just just everything. I just enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed this season. Be sure you guys check it out. Um, you know, comment down below. Give me your thoughts on it. And be sure to check out all my other movie review videos, uh, trailer reviews, movie reviews, etc. And have a great rest of your day. All right, bye, guys.